so here we will configure wireless network and uh, it will be of infrastructure model so you will first open Cisco packet tracer and then you have to configure the whole scenario so we will configure here in infrastructure wireless network of a company so first what you will do you will take few wireless devices from here like uh, we have taken this wireless AP then uh, we will be taking some switches then we will be taking some devices and uh, after taking we will take a server in our LAN and we will take few laptops which are outside users now this is our internal company I mean this is our intranet okay so you have created the network now what you will do you will create a DHCP server so you will go here and you will configure the DHCP server here then you will assign a static IP to your DHCP server this server is acting as a DHCP as well as web server ok so now what you will do you will go into each client and here you will do the DHCP so the client system has got the IP address of 1.2 similarly in every system you have to do the DHCP option so all have got the IP addresses now what you will do you will configure your laptop so for configuring laptop you have to first switch off the laptop then you have to remove the wired NIC from the laptop and insert a wireless NIC into your laptop and then you have to switch on your laptop now your laptop has been switched on now what you will do you will open your AP and go into port 1 and here you have to enable WEP and give the WEP key that should be at least of this digit ok 10 digit number it should be and the SSID value I want here Cisco so we have configured one laptop now what you will do you will connect the laptop to the wireless AP so go into connect you are getting the SID value of wireless AP and here you will give the keys after this verify that whether you are so yes you have got the IP address from the DHCP server 
of your private company so remember this is your actually intranet or you can say this is your own industry now and uh, the users which are outside of your industry okay they are accessing your uh, re accessing the resource of your industry with the help of a wireless network so see here uh, we have got the here pc2 has 1.2 so see whether this laptop is pinging the pc or not so the reply is being received now we know that this is a web server so this laptop will able to access the site of this web server so just go into the web browser mode see the IP address of server it is 1.1 .1. so just type here so you have accessed the web server of your own industry okay so actually the type of structure that you are seeing here it is used uh, in VPN okay here all the laptops with the help of WAN link get uh, means uh, they are attached to their private network with the help of VPN and after uh, accessing their industry with the help of VPN they access all the resources websites of their industry in this manner okay so this is how you will configure a infrastructure wireless network of a company now from inside also any of the systems will be able to ping this 1.4 So you are getting the reply from the laptop from the system that is present inside your company. So this is how you will create a wireless network. You see this is another kind of wireless network. Earlier the network that you have seen it was just created using wireless AP and switches actually APs are mainly like switches they work just like switch okay it means that they are li limited within a network okay so now we will see a different type of network in which we have a Linksys wireless router here is no AP and the router is connected to two different switches and the switch is further connected to large number of systems and servers okay in this uh, in this network what you will do you will just disable the DHCP server okay because your uh, Linksys wireless router will assign IP address to all the devices present in your network see here it is 0 0.1 DHCP enabled IP address will start from 2 and maximum number of users 50 okay after doing this setting you will save the settings and then you will jump into mixed here you will give the SSID name I want to give it a Microsoft and I want to save the settings then I will jump into configuration mode here I will assign the WEP key that should be more than 10 digit okay and you have to close your wireless router now what will happen see here every device will get the IP address very soon they will be getting so see here the IP address that they that they have got from the wireless router is 0 0.2 
in the same manner everyone will get the IP address except this server because there is no option of obtain automatic IP so you have to assign this and here there is the gateway so you have to assign the gateway address here now you do in all the systems the DHCP and router will provide the IP address to every system in the network so they have got the IP address now what you will do you will come to your wireless laptop just click connect so see here you, you are getting the signal from wireless router and it is held 100% using WEP security and network type is mixed BGN and here you have to give the WEP key that you have given on the wireless router and your system is now being attached to the Linksys wireless router so see whether your system is able to ping the intranet or not it is 0 0.2 so we will ping from here yes the wireless laptop is getting the reply from PC2 also the wireless router will be means the laptop will be able to access the web server if the IP address is right so this is our web server 0 0.5 you can see here so we have accessed with the help of laptop so the benefit of wireless router is that we can attach large number of switches to a single wireless router okay so in this way you will configure the wireless network